Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the follow the leader tool. First off, it's important to note that if you don't have everything set up correctly, you're not going to be able to use the follow the leader tool. That means you need to have performer selected and you cannot be on the first set. You must be on the set following the set that you want the follow the leader to happen. So right now you can see we're on set one. We want to be on set two if we want to follow the leader to happen between set one and set two. So let me move there now. So now you can see I have my performer selected. We're just going to go ahead and open up the follow the leader tool. The first thing that you'll notice is this white diamond that shows up around the first performer. This is the head, the leader of the follow the leader. So let's say we want the leader to be on the other side of the form. So we can just go ahead and select reverse start position over here. You can see that it switches the order of the performers and it changes the white diamond over to the other side. Now you can start adding nodes to the field. This is the path that the performers are going to follow. Once you have the general outline of the path that you want them to follow, you can hit finish setting points. Note that you must hit finish setting points, otherwise it's not going to set. You'll keep putting points on the field. You cannot move anywhere else in the program until you hit finish setting points or you close the follow the leader tool. So we're going to hit finish setting points right now. Now at this point, we could just accept the path and then we would have a finished path. They would, they would follow that path and everything would be well. But at this point, we can also adjust this path. Now note that we must hit accept path. If we cancel at this point, it's going to undo everything that we just did. But we're not gonna worry about that just yet. First off, we're gonna make a couple adjustments over here. So you note that we have the yellow marbles and red marbles, just like you do for the multi-curve tool. So we can edit the marbles, move the yellow marbles, move the red marbles to change the shape. Also over here, we have the segment properties, which is also very similar to the multi-curve tool. So we can choose what segment that we want to edit. We can change properties of it, such as straight line or turn it back into a curve. You can split the segment to add another yellow node in between to give a little finer detail, or you could delete the segment to get rid of nodes. So let's make the first one a straight line and then make this a nice curve. You'll see that this curved it very strangely. So if I want to curve it out, you pull the red marbles to change the shape. Make that a nice curve for everyone. So when we're finished that, we can choose the accept path button. And there we have it. You can watch our performers move. 